Another day, another apartment in Singapore, as Go Sing He opens up another front in the battle against dengue fever. He's one of several hundred inspectors leading the fight against the mosquito-borne virus. He's here at Tan Po Singh's apartment to check for breeding areas or mosquito larvae and to help Tan and his family understand what they can do to prevent the spread of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Singapore is experiencing its worst dengue epidemic in years. Recorded cases are already three times what they were in all of 2012. And part of the reason is Singapore's population has little immunity to the strains of the disease which are most prevalent this year. This has probably been the worst dengue year we've had for almost a decade. The last such outbreak was in 2005 and then there was a smaller outbreak in 2007. And as best we can tell, this is happening most, of, uh, most throughout Southeast Asia. So the government has launched an effective war against dengue, engaging the entire community in an effort to bring this year's epidemic under control. Kaja Anvar is a construction site health and safety officer. He teaches his colleagues how they can go into battle against the pest. He made the giant models to show his fellow workers what to look out for. We will destroy all the things, mosquitoes, here. We, we, we won't give a chance to breed any mosquitoes, larvas here. Because of our formula is search and destroy. Pest control companies also play their part by fogging common areas in condominium blocks, but that's only one tactic. One of the easiest ways to control mosquitoes is to remove their breeding areas. So something as simple as turning over a flower container like this to remove stagnant water can be the first line of defence. And it's vital too, as there's no vaccine or cure for dengue, which can give you a high fever and crippling joint pains. Severe dengue can result in death, and the peak season for dengue has several months to run. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Singapore.